Well, I, I guess from my perspective, every day that goes by is a day thousands of kids across our country, and in my case, in, in serving in New Mexico, um, they were not set up for success. And when we don't set our kids up for success, ultimately we don't set our states up for success, our economy and our nation, we're not as competitive as we can be, and um, our kids are our future. And so the urgency is, to me, a moment by moment, not a year by year hope. When we don't equip our students, our kids, for their success, we're failing to realize their ultimate potential, that what it, when I think about it, it's like, what invention are we not going to see? What gap are we not going to close? What awesome opportunity goes undone because we failed to set up our kids for success? So flip that around and say, if we actually were successful and urgent and delivered on our promise that every child deserves a great education, what would we see for these kids, their futures, their potential, their opportunity? And when you, you think about the exponential impact of generations of kids ready, prepared for success, giving to their state, their country, their community, their families, uh, to me, uh, it is, the there, sky is the limit and there are no limits on what is possible if we actually deliver on the promise of a great education. I guess when I think about our kids um, and their success and what they would say if they felt successful, they would be prepared to be engaged citizens, equipped with the knowledge and the information they need to make great decisions on behalf of their own selves, their families, um, if they're serving in our communities, um, that they're, they're well prepared and they're confident. They don't, for example, and I'll never forget this, a moment when I was in New Mexico talking actually to a grandma who had raised her, her grandson and she said to me, how? How is it possible that my grandson was valedictorian and he still for, took the first year of, of his college education was remedial work? What, what does it look like when a student says, I'm ready? I'm ready for college. I'm ready for the job I've always wanted to have. And there's no retraining. And what does it look like when our businesses and our communities say, you know what, when our kids graduate, whether it's high school, college, a certificate program, we know they are ready to, to really work, contribute, and be a part of our community and our, and our citizens and our success. Sometimes I think there are multiple reasons for that. On a practical level, when I think about K-12 education, at least in New Mexico, and the, the general idea is true across our country, over 40% of our budget. Well, whenever money is involved, we all, uh, adults have strong opinions about what should happen with that money. So priorities become in, uh, are, are in play. Secondly, I think education, especially for K-12 education, is a space where we have not created good voice for our students and parents. We see examples where we have great voice for, for our kids and our parents, but not enough. So, so often the folks we're supposed to be serving the most and giving them the choices and the opportunity and the voice, they actually don't have it. And, and so when the, the, the recipient, our kids, our parents, don't have the voice, I think we lose sight of um, our true mission. And we can become polarized and um, unpartisan um, because we're not, uh, we, we, we don't have our eye on the end game, and that is our kids and their success. We've spent a lot of time building a foundation. What do I mean by that? I mean that we've put in place high expectations for our kids. We've, we've developed ways to measure whether or not we're meeting those expectations. Um, we, we've established that teachers and school leaders matter immensely. Uh, we've recognized that choice is an important component for our parents and our students. But I consider those foundation pieces, not the end game. The end game is, are our kids truly prepared to be American citizens contributing, creating a different world and, and a different possibility for their kids and the futures of their grandkids? And are we, have we prepared our kids so when they leave high school or college or their certificate program or whatever education they have decided is the right match for them to be successful, that they truly are prepared. And so I think at the end of the day, we have to, our next step when I think about education reform, where are we going next in education reform? We're gonna build on that solid foundation and we're gonna do a way 
better job of connecting to real life issues and needs in our economic and workforce needs and, and our employers and what our country needs when it comes to the kinds of jobs that are in our future. We have not been responsive both to our kids and parents and we haven't been responsive to the ultimate future of where our kids go and how they contribute in their communities and in their states and in our nation. It is time for education reform to wake up and acknowledge foundation is important. We can't let it go, but it is strictly a foundation. We've got to, if you will, build the house and the house has to recognize kids cannot graduate from whatever education they are pursuing and tr not be prepared and not meet the needs of their communities and, and um, what our country needs in regards to jobs and workforce.